Hey everybody, this is Dan, and in my class, The Non-Programmer's Guide to Getting an App in the App Store, we talk a lot about abstraction and about kind of figuring out at the core what apps are trying to do. And in terms of abstraction, I talk about separating the what from the how. So what an application does versus how an application completes that task. And so I wanted to do in this video series, go through a few different applications, about one a week, and kind of discuss what the app is trying to do as well as how the app does it. So this first time, I'm, we're gonna take a look at one that I talk about in the class. It is a to-do list manager called 3030. So in 3030, basically what you do <clears throat> is you can set not just uh, a task, but also an amount of time for your task. So let's say you're somebody who usually gets distracted checking your email for hours on end, when in reality you should just be spending like a half an hour doing it and then move on to something else. You can set a little alert on this app, you can do your emails, it'll give you a little ding and then you can move on to the next task. So when you first open up the app for the very first time, what it presents you with is a walkthrough. And it has four different screens, at the very bottom of the screen it shows you how many there are, so you're on tile one of four, and it says welcome to the application and it explains briefly what it is. It also says swipe to see how. So you know that you need to swipe to the next screen to obviously move on. Now, having one of these introductions like this with little panels is kind of controversial. Um, the main goal should be when you're designing an application to not have to explain things because the more things that are just natural and progressive and you don't actually need to learn or show people how to do, the better your application is going to be. However, that gets a little bit difficult when you're getting into custom user interfaces. Uh, with iOS, uh, Apple provides you with a lot of default stuff that you can use and you don't actually have to customize or change anything. And if you just follow their rules and guides, you won't need to provide any of these instructions because it's, if they know how to use any iOS app, they'll know how to use your app. Uh, you'll, they'll know how to use your iOS app. But in this kind of case, if you're using some sort of custom user interface, you might need to explain things. Luckily, in this case, it's pretty simple. It says you set up a list of tasks and a length of time for each of them. You start the timer, it'll tell you to move on to the next task. You swipe again, and it's gonna show you an example so you understand, and then it says the gestures to manipulate everything, and these gestures are described in, uh, in the example tasks on the next screen. So you close out of this, and immediately it's gonna show you what the application looks like, as well as descriptions for which of the items are. This is good for people when you're first starting your application because it kind of is a way that you don't have to walk through step by step with little arrows being like, well, first look here, here's what that does, and then first look here, here's what that does. So it's still fairly intuitive. You can see that the bottom, the color things, those are the tasks. You got a big play button. Obviously, that means to start your little playlist of to-do lists and then you can add five minutes, subtract top five, and lock them. At the very top of the screen, it says this is a list title. You can double tap to, epit, uh, to edit it. And in the top right is the settings, and that's blinking. So that kind of tells you to click that. And you can see all of the things that this application can do. And they're all not only with icons, but also a description of what the icons are. You'll notice in iOS, they don't actually show the titles for icons. At least in iOS 6 and iOS 7, there are some now. But if you're making up custom icons like this, it's not fair to just assume that your customer or your user is going to understand what those are. So it is a good idea to list the words to show. So you can just show all these different items, stay on, shake to undo. Uh, there's a help section. If you enter that, it'll show you exactly what you need to do in a walkthrough. But you can see that this application still, even though it explains everything really well, has a fairly high learning curve. So if there is some way, if you were to do something like this, to make it a little easier, to make it simpler, to maybe cut down the number of things that it can do in order to make it easier for the user, because the important thing to think about, going back to the beginning, is abstraction, which is the separation of the what from the how. So the reason somebody downloads a to-do list application, whether it's something like this, whether it's something even simpler, like just a list with items you can check off, or if it's something more complex, like a things or an omni-focus, where you can set context, like where a task needs to be done, set dates, all these different things. There's so many different types of to-do lists. But at the end of the day, 
what these applications are trying to do is help you remember what to do. So the user has a problem. The problem is I can't remember the things I need to do or I need a way to store all of my to-do items. And then a solution of a to-do list application at the most abstract is going to be to show you what you need to do and to help you remember those things that you want to do. How it does it is going to be how each of these applications differentiate themselves from the other ones. So with 3030, it's going to be setting a time to each task. With the to-do list simple one, it might be with a, a special user interface in the case of clear. Or with OmniFocus, it's going to be with the context or the different kind of advanced features that those have. So that's going to be how it accomplishes the task. But the task, at its most abstract, is going to be showing you what you need to do. So taking that into consideration with 3030, I might try to simplify things and think about how people are actually going to use the application in order to get the things that they need to done. So that was me taking a look at 3030, the to-do app. Uh, check me out at imdan.com.